All right, God bless you. I'm a, I'm a little winded. My heart rate is up. I'm a little winded because I just got through doing my bodily exercise. Yes, I do bodily exercise. Praise God. I started in 1974 when I purchased my first barbell weight, barbell and dumbbell set from Sears and Roebuck for 1999, back in 1974. A friend of mine earlier Went over to his house and he he had a barbell set. Man, I, I got addicted to it. <laughs> so I bought my own. 1974. So from 74 to 70, uh, Set the ball 78, I guess. Well, consistently lifting weight, barbell, dumbbell. Oh. Um, I laid off of them. I was about three or four years laid off and went to Run them ghouls <laughs> and dragging and smoking and whatever. I got back into it in the 1980s. Well, I, I got rid of the barbells by starting doing push ups. 1980, which I did got to do a push up, so that's why I went. So 1980, <clears throat> but off and on, but consistently, the year 2000, from 2000 up to, to 2022, I've been consistent exercising. I changed my diet. <clears throat> Stop eating Kentucky Fried Chicken every day, pizza every day. Hamburger there every day and start eating vegetables and lean meat and so on and so forth. But anyway, just got through. I bought me a little 15 pound dumbbell a couple of years ago, so I've been using it. But nevertheless, nevertheless, a lot of you, oh, uh, Yes, yes, I'm a preacher. I'm a minister. And you have thousands, I would say millions of preachers and ministers. But why I preach different from everybody else? Of course, not me alone, I understand that, but just saying, why I gotta be different? Why I gotta preach different from Every denomination. Why God I preach different from all churches? Why, 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 why the message I preach is different? Why my message goes against every denomination teacher? Why I don't tell people to come join denomination? Come join Church God in Christ, Apostolic, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, Episcopal, Presbyterian, non-denominational, Apostolic faith, whatever. Why I don't tell people to come, to come join? Why I don't push that? Push those church the, the denominations. Why I don't push that? Why I don't represent that? Why I don't boost that? 
because I preach Christ. And Christ is none of those things. Yeah, Christ has people in those denominations. Yes. Your, your church is not Jesus. Your church ain't Jesus. <laughs> your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, not no temple of no church of God in Christ, not no temple of no Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic, Baptist, Pentecostal, or whatever, but your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So I, I tell you, you come to Jesus. Uh, uh, you come to Jesus. I preach Jesus and him crucified. And him raised from the dead. I preach Christ and not myself and not you. And not your church denomination. I preach Christ. That's the difference. I preach Christ. Hallelujah. There's not one holy denomination on the face of the earth. There's not one holy church on the face of the earth. Not one. You are the building. You the church. You holy. Watch it. I can prove that. Whatever church you put up, let put up church God in Christ. That, that's the famous one. Well, it's Jesus. What? What? What they going on in the church of God and Christ? What teaching the church of God and Christ do that's contrary to the word of God? You better not lie and say no teaching contrary to the word of God. You better not tell that lie. Same thing over for apostolic, Baptist, Methodist, whatever. I preach the scripture. Period. I don't preach church. I don't push church. I don't boost church. I don't boost and preach no nomination, no pastor. I preach Christ. Hallelujah. And if I preach it at a certain place, I'll invite you to come to the certain place. <laughs> you understand that. All right. I preach Christ. I don't preach myself. I, I don't preach no church. I boost. I boost. I boost. I boost and preach. And represent Christ Jesus, the Son of God. That's enough of that.